I recorded this uh, as an audio for one of my coaching groups earlier today and found out that it didn't record. So I'm gonna use, uh, we're gonna record a video and put it on YouTube and we can, we'll can we see if we can recapture the magic because that was one of the most concise, clear, and like powerful deliveries of, of this message that I've ever had before. But anyways, well, who cares? Let's get into it. So the topic was how to how to address that feeling when you ate something that wasn't on the plan or you shouldn't have eaten and now you're thinking the whole day is ruined so I'll just start tomorrow. And here's the thing, one of the keys that I try to remind myself is that there is always an option to close the gap between where you are and where you want to be regardless of the situation or scenario. But the thing is, most of us think about this in terms of I feel this emotion there's there's because this happened there's there's no other option the only option is to do something that alleviates that discomfort alleviates that feeling that you know those bad feelings in the moment but in reality, which which widens the gap, but in reality, every single scenario that you can come up with, if you remove all the emotion out of it, right, and the drama, there are options that you can pick that will close the gap. So let me get specific here. Earlier this day, or probably like around 11 a.m., I went, I went to... Um, I got frustrated. There was a bunch of things happening. Things that I don't want to share. Not everything needs to be shared, but everybody goes through things. And so at 11 a.m., uh, I went to Jack in the Box. Got Jack in the Box. And I put it into my fitness. Right, th right there is one fork in the road. Because... One option I had was like, well, fuck it. I'm going to eat Jack in the Box. So, you know, this day is ruined. So I'll just start tomorrow. First fork was, I'm going to eat this Jack in the Box. I, I don't like what has happened. I don't enjoy the current circumstances uh, revolving around work and whatnot. And so I'm going to still track this Jack in the Box. Not only am I going to track this Jack in the Box... I am going to still make a choice at Jack in the Box that is friendlier for my goals. So I got a spicy chicken sandwich, but I said I'm going to get the spicy chicken sandwich, no mayo, no cheese. That saves me 200 calories right there. Second thing, I ordered small curly fries. I could have got large curly fries. I could have got medium. I said, let me get the small curly fries. I got a Diet Coke, of course no ice curly fries out I, I took a bite out of the curly fries and they weren't good they weren't for you know it's like one of those batches where it's like it, 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 you get all the little little small bits and pieces it's not a good if it was a and it's it wasn't even that hot so, you know, if it would have been a good batch of curly fries, I would have eaten, I would have eaten the entire little, um, uh, the small curly fry. But since it was not that good, I ate about half of it and I stopped because I picked out the good pieces, right? Like you don't want the little, you don't want the little curl. You want the, 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 the full curl, right? And there weren't any of those or there weren't many. So I, I ate those. Again, all these options that I'm doing, which normally people think like, well, I did this, so it's all ruined. I'm still doing things that are 
closing the gap. I'm still tracking. I'm still making choices that minimize calories. And let's not forget the most powerful piece of this whole thing is like the only reason you want to do something or have something or be something is because you think you'll feel good in the doing, being, or having of that thing. I got these curly fries because I'm like, they're going to make me feel like it's going to taste good. I'm going to feel good. They weren't good. So I'm not going to eat them because if I would have eaten them, then I would have been even more pissed because I ate all this extra calories and it wasn't even good. Right? So then the next piece of the puzzle, by the way, I think it's very helpful to have these like actual breakdowns of scenarios rather than just talking about concepts. So the next thing I did, I was like, okay, well, what am I going to do for the rest of the day? Because I, I shared a picture of my calories at that moment, right? And I was already over on my fats by like seven grams. And then I was, you know, I had like 80 protein left and I still had 50 carbs left. So I was like, okay, well, for the rest of the day, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to focus just on eating protein and I'm not going to, uh, you know, tr I'm going to gonna try not to eat any fat and try to not eat any carbs that alone right this is part of the 7p framework um that alone sets you up for success okay the 7p framework if you don't know it if you haven't seen that video is planning produces peace prioritizing protein produces possibilities okay The simple act of thinking about what I'm going to do for the rest of the day is planning. And that produces peace. And then prioritizing that protein produces more possibilities, right? So from there, what I did was I was like, okay, well, I, I went home and I'm like, I'm going to make a burrito that's going to give me about another 60 grams of protein. And I'm still going to use a tortilla. It's not a big deal. It was like uh, 20 grams of carbs. And so I was like, I, I can use that, whatever. But now I'm in a much better position. And then at the end of the day, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm, I'll eat the rest of that steak or maybe some chicken. This is where cooking comes in handy. If you can cook chicken that's so good that you'll eat it off the cutting board, which is not difficult, it's not time consuming. Now you're more likely, your enjoyment is high, your calorie density is low, and now like you're less likely to just blow your calories out of the water. So, and now you're still closing the gap, even though in the morning you did something that for most people would end up like, fuck it, the day's ruined, I'm just gonna go ham, right? I'm gonna eat 3,000 calories for, th I'm not even gonna know how many calories I ate. So, then the thing that that comes up is we think our behavior is automatic and which which it is automatic but the but there's a little space it's it's not it's not like this behavior is just inevitable or you know there's no choice here regardless of how quick it happens and how automatic it feels there's always a choice and so that's where that's what equanimity is about right space between stimulus and response and as i be bring more awareness to that space and be more have more equanimity i widen that space okay and all you have to do is just think about it that's it like that's you don't need to force anything and you don't need to remove anything you don't need to remove these emotions and feelings like let them be there just shine your awareness on them and put the planning in place now look everything is about feeling good when i put feeling good into the equation and whether that's through my cooking skills right like i cook really good chicken so i know it's not going to be miserable at the end of the day when I go to cook or it's just, you know, even the fact of like, I'm going to order this Jack in the box. I'm putting enjoyment into this, but I'm going to track it. 
right? When I when I factor in enjoyment, doing all these be things becomes much easier. The friction goes down, okay? So that's, for those of you who've watched the friction index video, you wanna decrease friction as much as possible. And one of the ways we decrease friction is increasing enjoyment. The more enjoyment there is, the less friction there is, right? So anyways, this, this video is already turning out to be longer than the original voice message, but just some play-by-play -play practical application of these concepts. If you have questions, let me know. Send me a message. Um, follow me on Instagram. Put a like, put a comment. It's all great stuff. It helps uh, me achieve my goals. I can help you achieve your goals whatever those might be, especially if they're about getting leaner and doing it in an enjoyable way. Um, that's it.